everybody, welcome back to the Millmaid channel. My name's Josh Miller, and this is a beautiful piece of cherry. Now, a buddy of mine by the name of Paul Bunyan, not actually his name, was nice enough to give this to me. It's a beautiful piece of wood, so we'll throw it on the lathe right behind me and see what we can't make out of it. I'm thinking maybe a vase or uh, some type of small vessel. It'll look real good. So, stick around. <laughs> The notorious parting tool. Finally found it. Finally gonna use it. So much easier. All right, so I've given it some thought. I was gonna try to keep this as long as possible. I've got a few checks. I tried to stabilize with some super glue, which would probably work, but I don't have any good hollowing tools. All I got is my mid-length carbides from Easy Wood. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part it off right past this long check and make this just a little bit shorter so because I'm not gonna be able to completely hollow this thing out I don't think so just because like I said the tools that I'm using I don't think I'm gonna have the reach over the tool rest to really do it so we're gonna make it a little shorter which kind of sucks but is what it is all right let's get to it let's do some shaping I'm gonna leave it fairly thick. Same reason I mentioned earlier. I'll taper these uh, these curves into one another, smooth them out, and we'll start sanding them. Get this thing hauled out.
Wow, this is a bit nerve-wracking. I'm having to go by feel because I can't really tell exactly. I can't look down it and see where I'm at. I guess it comes with the territory. I'd say I'm about, I don't know, halfway down. I'm gonna try to get a little bit deeper, but I'm not gonna be able to go too much farther because I'm just, I'm running out of tool. I've definitely gone further than what it recommends that you should stick over the tool rest. show you how far I've gotten it's not all the way but I'm two-thirds maybe three-quarter so I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and sand this lip a little bit as far as I can get in there put it against a jam chuck and turn that tenon off you through this goofy mess if I had more time I'd make me a proper jam chuck to fit this opening right here but I do not so I've got rubber gloves from the last video wrapped around my uh, scroll chuck I'm going to put this sucker against it and hopefully be able to hold enough pressure just long enough to where I can turn this the majority of the way down let's see if this works It seems like it's holding pretty good and the bottom's running pretty true I'll call that a win all right let's get to work So there you have it. It's uh, it's not perfect by no means, but it sure is pretty. Nice coloring down this one side right here. Really good piece. Now, uh, you might not be able to tell on camera, but I didn't get it completely hollow. I'm about in this area for depth, but which is kind of nice because I mean, for what it is, it's real. It's bottom heavy, so it keeps it upright. I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel in the last couple of months. Been really trying to focus and uh, get videos put out on a regular basis. Yeah, thanks for watching. Comment down below if you got any ideas that you'd like to suggest. I'll entertain anything. Till next time, see you guys.